Hi Cancer and welcome back to what you need, what you need to know, or the hidden influences, and of course what you want for the month of July. This is more a condensed reading here. I'll also take a look at your challenges, your advice, and your potential outcome of course. So Cancer's on the collective, welcome back and thank you once again uh, for making it into the top five most viewed uh, videos for the month of June. And of course guys, if you have a challenge or situation in your life, you'd like more guidance, clarity, or support on feel free to reach out to me all my information is either linked in this description below or the about section of my channel so with that said here cancers uh let's go ahead and change the camera angle here and don't forget guys this is a general reading will not resonate for everyone so keep what does and leave the rest please give this some shuffles here and we're looking at what you need for cancers on the collective okay what you need okay what you want my goodness I'd want that too okay so lots going on energetically here uh, cancers even with just these three cards I can see like right now it may be uh, a very kind of confusing time for you tumultuous time for you you're starting out with what you need is the five of swords energy so that's about letting go of ego somebody letting go of their ego somebody letting go of their pride uh, basically this guy over here he just wants to control everything uh, wants to fuss and fight wants leadership he wants to be the top dog of the situation and half are over here uh, shedding her tears because she has something else in her heart entirely she's being manipulated in some way so for you this is letting go of a conflict this is removing yourself from some sort of conflicting uh, uh, situation in your life here cancer that you're, you're feeling controlled by I want to say this showed up in your love reading too I'm gonna have to go back and look whether it was you or Taurus but really that same kind of energy feels like it's repeating itself here uh, what you need to know or what are the hidden influences is there's a lot of confusion in the situation there's a lot of opportunities so much so they can feel overwhelmed at times you want to make sure you're being realistic uh, when it comes to what opportunities you choose like Aladdin in this lamp here he's got to choose the right one in order to get the genie right so for his wish to be his command he has to make sure he listens to his intuition and makes the right choice Again, being realistic, not every lamp is going to have a genie in the bottle, let alone a genie in the first place here, Cancer. What's your, what do you want, right? You want balance back in your life. You want to be able to bring in balance when it comes to your money, your career, your home life, um, all that stuff, you know, your emotional well-being. This could be that there's opportunities presenting themselves here that are pertaining to your finance or, or something tangible in your life here. Uh, cancers and one opportunity of course is going to be uh, better for you than another and that said again making sure you're being realistic about your your choices here as you remove yourself from some sort of situation that's not for your highest good and it's con a conflict of sorts uh, definitely want to get some action cards here so we're going to clarify this up we're going to ask what actions should cancer take uh, for this Five of Swords energy. I'm going to set that kind of up there because there's nothing we can really do about what's influencing it. Because that's the hidden influences. But we want to know what actions you can take to move towards what you need and want being the same thing. Thank you. Okay, we've got the Ten of Wands energy. You may be in such a conflicting state here, uh, Cancers, because you're doing all the work in a situation, whether it's employment, whether it's your own job, whether it's a relationship, anything really. This is indicating to me with this Ten of Wands that both a situation is coming to an end, uh, a situation where you feel overburdened, where you feel overwhelmed, much like this Seven of Cups energy. Uh, and maybe others are taking notice of that. Maybe it's work related and you're, you're pulling more than your fair share of the labor there. Uh, but in order for you to see the fruits of your labor, in order for you to have this balance of time and energy, especially if it comes to having time with your family cancer, 
uh, you need to allow others to help you out and share some of that load along the way is what this is indicating. Now, if you're dealing with a control freak who's pushing this upon you, maybe it's simply time to let that go. Um, put Again, put the, put the oars in the water out there. Uh, put it out there that you're available and looking for something else. Uh, but... But don't just grasp for straws, uh, is really what I want to say in relation to that. Let's see what action needs to happen in order for you to he head towards that balance, that opportunity that the Two of Coins is offering. There it is, using your instincts, of course. Of course, of course, of course. Uh, again, this is that balance of, with a High Priestess energy, Moon card, right? So we know uh, she's psychic, she's, she's intuitive. And she knows how to keep both her intuitive mind, uh, what's revealed in the dark, what's illuminated to her with her knowledgeable mind, her cognitive mind. Uh, she knows how to keep those two things in harmony and balance here. And often the columns, the B and J are present. Uh, they're not indicated at this time as they usually are, uh, but those still, those two lanterns are there representing that, that balance between the two. So using your intuition and, and being practical perhaps about things, uh, using some general knowledge is what's gonna help bring this decision or this choice, because two is a choice, a decision you have to make back into balance for yourself. Let's pull one more from the goddess deck and see what they have to say in regards to your situation here, Cancer. Here we go. <laughs> there it is again. Classic cancer card here, right? Bodies of water. Water speak of emotions. They speak of our inner energies. They speak of that intuitive nature to ourselves. So it's asking you to go be in your bodies of water. What I want to add to this, let me just read it first. Spend time near water such as a lake, river, or ocean to recharge your batteries. So yes, you may be in a position right now, Cancer, where you need some peace in your life, where you need some serenity. Maybe you even need hope in a situation. One thing I know about water is, is the more movement in a water, a body of water, the more the negative ions get released, such as a waterfall, such as a rainstorm. We certainly have our fair share of water coming up and down the East Coast right now. Uh, in fact, this is the first time the sun's peaked out uh, in several days here in Vermont uh, within the last, you know, half an hour, 15 minutes, and if only for a moment, right? So maybe sitting by that, that body of water, yes, or maybe simply dancing in the rain. Release that stress, release that worrisome energy, enjoy life, count your blessings. It will help change that vibration for you, Cancer, on the collective here uh, in order for you to achieve what it is you need to achieve and find that balance again in your life. So that said, let's put these guys back in the deck here. One by one. And give them another shuffle. All right. As we take a look at again those challenges, that advice and potential outcome for the month of July. One more. See that 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 right there happens, and I know like okay, it's not just my hands. There's a lot of energy going into it, so we're gonna do one more. Get the cancers. There we go. Challenges for cancers on the collective, please. Hi, big bird. Yeah, no kidding. Ten of cups energy. It's almost over, cancer. That's what that's saying. It's almost over. Ooh, beautiful two of cups okay potential outcome very very nice here it is turning around for you guys here it is progression moving in the direction you really want it to to be in ten of cups of course free challenge speaks of you believing you understanding that all that emotional struggle you've been going through all those hard times they're finally coming to an end this is completion of that cycle this is a reunion with family friends perhaps uh, some sort of reconciliation 
uh, recuperation in some fashion, but it's togetherness, it's union. And we see that repeated here, uh, Cancers, with the Two of Cups energy as your advice. This is the story of Gilgamesh, of course, uh, who his partner is his polar opposite, no doubt. But if this is not pertaining to a relationship for some of you, this is the choice you make that brings you some sense of completion in your life. Maybe it calls to your soul's purpose, as this could also be calling in your soulmate energy, or your twin flame, perhaps. With this Two of Cups, I want you to recognize too here, Cancer, that this couple is not united because everything was sunshine and roses all the time in their life. They're united because they loved each other enough, they understood each other enough to make it through the hard times. And that's what the advice is for you. Is sometimes, you know, we got to go through these hard times so we can learn and grow and appreciate our good times in life uh, even more so. Where are you headed? Well, you're hoping for some money, I'm sure, because the Knight of Co Coins is out. This is the most cautious, slowest moving night in the deck. I love the way this card is represented. I love that cow with the coin right on top of his forehead. Uh, if you're waiting on money, it is coming. It's just coming very slowly towards you. Uh, again, this is a relationship perhaps that takes its time. This is a situation that is practical, that is grounded, that is stable and nurturing as it works itself out. It's taking time to grow, prosper. Uh, it is that change perhaps that you need to bring back the balance into your life, but it's going to take time to achieve it here cancers so i hope you enjoyed your reading guys and again don't forget to click like and subscribe let me know what you think in the comments below and of course uh, if you have a challenge or situation in your life you'd like more guidance clarity or support on feel free to reach out to me i am doing personal readings at this time um and all my information is linked in the description below or the about section of my channel and don't forget wednesdays 8 p.m eastern time you can come and see me live on Villaggio strega and get a one to five card reading so blessed be cancers take care and thank you again